here for iCrafter and today I'm introducing two new shadow words die cut set. On the left you see the shadow hello friend die set and on the right the shadow happy birthday die set. Each of these die sets are sold separately and they each have four pieces. You're going to have the sentiment happy birthday to you as well as hello friend and in the shadow hello friend die set there's also a little rainbow and a shadow star that you can use to accent your cards. These are really great for adding dimensional sentiments to your cards and creating quick and easy cards. And if you have both of these, you can definitely mix and match and do a sentiment like happy birthday friend. So I'm going to go ahead and start by die cutting out some of these sentiments. I'm going to die cut using a translucent cutting deck along with my I Mend self mending cutting deck. And I cut each of these twice. I used white cardstock and a blue cardstock. And in the end, you're going to see me change this up just a little bit. For now, though, I'm going to go ahead and work on my backgrounds. I'm using eye brush blender brushes, and I'm going to blend pink and yellow ink onto two pieces of cardstock. I'm just going to take it nice and slow because I want to have a nice and even blend that doesn't overlap in the center. I don't want to mix to make orange. So I'm going to just start at each end and then come almost to the center and that's going to give me a little bit of a highlight as well. I'm just going to continue blending until each of those panels are complete. And once they're all done, you're going to see how I have that kind of a little bit of a white highlight in the center. Now I wanted to add some simple texture to my background and one of the ways I like to add texture to a simple background is with some watercolor spatters. You can do any color you like, but I wanted to go with the black. So here are the shadow word die cut sets. And you can see that when you run this through your die cutting machine, you're going to get two pieces, the shadow as well as the positive piece. And I do want to mention that you can use these separately. If you want to use just the actual word itself, you definitely can. If you want to add it onto the shadow, yes, absolutely. I'm also going to be using just the shadow because I thought that it gave a really neat effect. Here's a little tip though if you want to use both the shadow and the sentiment pieces together. I find it easiest to add this together if I create a little backer especially since I wanted to create some dimension on my card and pop up with foam my sentiment. So I'm taking just a piece of scrap white cardstock and I glued that shadow piece onto it and now I'm just going to use my scissors and trim away any excess piece that's hanging out from there. This gives me a backer to add my uh, sentiment, my actual words onto. Also, I forgot to keep my negative pieces of my sentiment. So the little pieces behind the O and the E, those little cutout pieces, they were going to show the actual background of my, uh, of my card. And I wanted them to have that white look to them. So this serves two purposes. It helps if you forget to die cut or keep those negative die cut pieces. And it helps you to kind of create like a little handle in a way. So for the second card, the happy birthday to you, I'm only using the shadow piece because I thought that it gave a really cool kind of peek through look. So don't forget that these dies really, you can get three different looks from them by inlaying the word into the shadow piece, by using just the shadow piece, and by using just the words themselves. So there's a lot of bang for your buck with these pieces. Here's where you can see where that backer piece that I added really made it easy to add some foam tape. I didn't have to mess around with little pieces. I could just go ahead and add those right on. And here are my two completed cards. These came together in minutes. These shadow word die sets are great for having easy and quick cards. Thanks so much for watching this video. As always, you can head to the iCrafter website for more inspiration and products and check out the iCrafter YouTube channel for even more video tutorials. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.